Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Friday, October 2nd. And I remind you that daily messages, sacred music, Sunday worship, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. Also, remember that Sunday, October 4th is World Communion Sunday, and we will worship online and also our drive-up worship. It will be safe and spiritual. Come and join us. My scripture today is Proverbs 18, verse 2. Fools have no interest in understanding. They only want to air their own opinions. This is the word of the Lord. I have a tragic tale to tell of my mother's home country, which is now part of Croatia. Where she lived until she was seven years old and came to the United States was part of what was then Yugoslavia. And in her town, there were Muslims, Christians, and Jews. There were Croatians, Serbians, Slovenians, Dalmatians, and many other ethnic groupings. And they had lived together in that town, side by side, for generations. Many of those families were the closest of friends and helped each other with crops and with other emergencies and circumstances and situations. They ate together. They shared festivals together. And then came a campaign of hatred and disinformation. And you know that it devolved into the terrible Balkan Wars where neighbors whose families had been together for generations too far back to remember suddenly turned on each other. And it was a terrible conflict and the price in human life and economic devastation was horrendous. How could this be? Well, you see, it's only too easy. Right now in the United States, people who have lived together side by side for years are ringing alarm bells. Well, if one side wins the national elections, there will be terrible consequences. No, it's the other folks. And I'm suspicious of anyone who doesn't believe the way I do. I'll unfriend them. I won't uh, share social contact with them. I'll even leave the church if someone disagrees with my particular political persuasions. Friends, we are being manipulated. And I ask you to use better judgment and a Christian heart when approaching your friends and neighbors, and yes, even these upcoming elections. Mark Twain supposedly wrote, it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they've been fooled. If you are harboring dark thoughts about your friends and neighbors and your fellow Americans, please reconsider and remember that this is a nation that has worked together harmoniously through some of the biggest challenges in human history, and we can do it again. Let's not be fools easily manipulated and easily turned toward acts that we would never have considered in the past. Instead, let's remember to live, to love, and to share. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that we would be given wisdom to recognize that we are brothers and sisters and that together as Christians, together as Americans, together as family, we can overcome any hurdles or obstacles the world throws at us if you are our guiding light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.